G'day, how you going? Are you Annapolis here? You're acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my YouTube channel here. Also got little buddy with me here. Yeah, yeah g'day, how you all going? He always sits in the background and sometimes he asks those questions that you might be wanting to ask on the other side of the camera. So he's always there. Keep a listen out for him. All right, we've got a 12 inch by 16 inch canvas. The size is up there and I'll also get the colors running up the screen for you. And um, this is done in acrylic, like I don't know if I said that, but it's done in acrylic and it's going to be a beautiful snow cabin, Christmassy, snowy cabiny scene, something like that, wouldn't you say, buddy? Yeah, I'd call it snow cabin scene, Ian. Well, there you go. We'll call it snow cabin scene. And the lights are on in the cabin. All right. So get on over here and we'll get right into this. So down on the canvas, I've got some craft paint and I'm going to pick it up with my yellow putter on a brush. Ian, what's craft paint? Craft paint's just, it's titanium white, but it's very soft body. It comes in a big bottle and it's cheaper to buy than what it is in the tubes. And it's like a poster paint or a student paint. Okay, fair enough. That sounds good. And with this one, I want to get the sky coloured in, or well, not coloured in, but painted in. So I'm going to use this paint just to prime up the canvas. Now it's not gesso because this white that I'm putting on has a bit of a sheen to it. So we just want to pretty much get the whole canvas covered in this so we can get the sky half done. And we'll just stroke all those lumps and bumps out so we can get the next procedure done nice and artistically. Fantastic and fantastic. Now I've cleaned my putter on a brush and the sky is going to be grey but I want it to have a tint of blue in there so I'm just adding my cerulean blue until I get the desired tone value colour that I'm looking for. I don't want it blue, I want it sort of overcasty grey. And we'll get the top half done probably to about the tree line's going to, I'll just show you from here, the tree line's probably going to be something like this, whatever, hilly, whatever. So pretty much that's our sky colour there. So I want to just crisscross this into the sky area. Pick up some more if you need it. Crisscross it in, crisscross it in. What do you crisscross it for, Ian? Because the canvas has teeth on it. You know the stitching of the material, it looks like that. All those things there are called teeth and you push it right in between them so you get no little potholes of different colours. Then you can finish it off with some strokes like that. Oh, oh fantastic. Ian. Look at that. Oh, I like that. There we go. And we're going to have our trees just peeking up into that sky there. It wasn't that easy. You, you can do it. Now down here I've got some burnt umber and black. I want to get my mongoose fan brush and create a darker value of that burnt umber. That way it's not brown and it's not black, it's blacky brown. This is going to add the depth within our trees out there. So simply work out, I want these coming from about here, bunching up like so. So there's going to be pretty much nice scratchy but straight trees all the way to the top there just about and it's pretty much a big bowl of tr trees out there they're right out there but they're not flat we want to make it look like we're looking over a bowl of trees there that's why i said the word bowl i get you and that was a smart word to use bowl so i'm going to just keep trying to put bits of this picking up the paint on my fan brush getting some darker values, making sure they're very straight, they're not wobbly and fat and uneven. Get creative, practice procedures if you've never done them before. And I want, want to get a lot of this just like so, all the way over here. And then I want to try and create the illusion where some are in front of these and giving it that bowl look that I use, that word I chose to use. There we go, simple, that was easy. Now I'm gonna pick up some more and simply try and create another band in front of that, see? Oh, get them straight. Now if you have trouble, see, with it mudding up. What's mudding up? What do you mean mud, Dean? What's mudding up mean? Well, see how this color is rubbing and washing in with the other color underneath? That's what we call mudding up. So what I'm going to do, just 
as an example within this tutorial, I'm gonna dry that. So see how that wasn't sitting on top of that wet paint quite easily? We'll give that a dry. Okay, I've given it a dry. Now watch the difference. This is going to, look at that, it's sitting on there. It's not washing in like it was before when it was wet, so it is not mudding up. You wanna try and keep this, another layer in front of that first layer you just done. Bringing it down as well. So we've finished our bowl of the, the tops of our trees. We're sort of looking up over a big bowl of trees there. Now, hang on a minute, Ian, you dried that and you didn't tell them you dried it. Yeah, so I've dried that. Now I want to add this snow in to the bottom area. So I'm going to use the good quality titanium white just to brush that onto the canvas. Roughly all here. Pick that up. Brush it on. Don't worry if it breaks up a bit. Now you just, you've got that on, you've brushed it on just to about there, right? Now see under those trees there? Just kind of get a bit under them because this, these sticks are gonna end up being some of the trunks there. So grab some of that, just like so. We need the darks under there before we highlight those trees. That's what I'm doing now. I wanna grab a bit of burn umber and a little bit of white, okay? Now keep grabbing some more of that till it's the colour you want. We want to get a bit of this underneath the trees there as depth. See the bottom of your trees, you want to kind of just get this on, because the cabin's going to be about here, but we want some depth under these trees. We don't want them to look like they're floating on top of the snow. So you're pretty much going to get that there like so. Now what's on your brush? Everything's wet on the canvas, good. Wipe that off your brush and simply scrumble this into that wet painted snow color you put down there. Paint it in like that. See here a bit more, grab a bit more, darken it in here, darken her up. Just dab it on there and push it through the snow. Pick up some more white if you need to, to sink it, to soften the impact but you want it dark under there. So now I'm gonna grab a bit more dark right here. Look at that, a bit darker. You want it darker there. Rub it in, that's it. We've got some nice shadow under our trees. Now see those trees, how we put them on before? I'm gonna pick up some more of the lighter brown. And I'm also gonna just try and shape me land while I'm doing this, because it's in the wet white, so it'll help. So I'm gonna get some up here like so. I'm just using a flat brush. And we can probably get some, I don't know, just let's cast, I'm gonna have some more trees here. So I feel I might want some of this pulling right down into the middle of the painting like so, real simple with a flat brush. Pull it down into your area there. Now get this top bit, I've just mixed a bit more black with that. Get this bit here where your trees are gonna be and then get that nice and dark. And what we did there, wipe it off your brush, very simple. And then, I don't know, find the way you can grab your brush and kind of pull that down as well. Pulling it into there like so. Pulling it there. You can always add more brown over the inner bits if you want. We'll come back to that snow later. Let's finish, hang on a minute, let's finish the bottom of those trees. So you have that burn umber in the black again. Let's grab that again over here. Now we want to bring the bottom of those trees onto here. So let's start putting some trunks forward and back from each other, just like so. And they're pretty much just your trunks of your trees out there. Now I've got me white and I've got it tainted with a little bit of burn umber there. What's tainted, Ian? That's just, you, you tainted it, you've, you've disturbed it, you've spoiled the colour. So I've just added a little bit of brown there. 
could see our snow now, we want to try and even it up. So let's go from here, sink that darker area back. And then this side bit here, you want to bring that into the painting as well so it's got flow with it. Over here, and we're just, if anything, I've made a gully within the middle of it. And we just kind of, like see this bit here, I don't quite like that, so I'll just try and artistically soften it within the painting by putting more movements of the way I want my ground to be. Some of this here can be a little bit more subtle with the white. And that's looking all right, I feel, a bit over here. And then we'll get on to the next bit. Now with the same brush, I'm grabbing the burr number and getting a darker value of the white because we're simply going to highlight what's out there. This colour now that I've got on my fan brush is lighter than what's here. Okay, so just the tips, let's get some of these tips highlighted. But what I want to create is a band of these tips so I can bring the next section in front of it. Nice, light, hitting contacts. Bring it around like that. Okay, I've done that section. Now I want to bring another bit in front, starting, leaving a darker area. So these are going to start again from about here. Leaving a darker area, but give yourself sometimes the opportunity to pop higher up into that other area like this. So you'll see. Now see the tops here? If you can, practice it. Get them nice and sharp, nice and sharp like that. There we go. So you're not moving your hand, Ian, you're just flicking your wrist. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going like this. I'm flicking it with my hand, not the actual wrist. I'm flicking the wrist, sorry. Flicking my hand. The joint where the hand joins to the arm. And a bit more here. Now just with this bit here, we can come, where are we? Let's say about here. Get some more. Let's, I'll do a couple of distinct ones here, like so and then grab the corner. These ones have got a bit more deliberate foliage maybe with on them, branching over that dark bit. Coming over the dark areas there. Chisel your brush up. anything that looks a bit mumble jumble but now we're going to simply highlight that with the pure white now so once again just gingerly hit it you don't want it too loud hit some of that out there hit some of the second band that you made and then we'll fix that up as well I'm hopeless at these trees, I really am, but I'm trying my darndest to paint them. But these trees suit the snow scene, that's why I'm painting this type of tree. Now I don't like the way I've got one, two, three, four, and this fifth one here just all in a line. We've got to kind of scatter them backwards and forwards so they look artistically realistic, you know? So what we'll do is we'll just simply put something back here as well, in between there, just something like that to break it up. Now some of those white trees, if they look a bit stupid, I'm just going to simply grab the darker colour and sit them back, so I'm lacking some darker values here. Alright, I've just gone over those trees because I didn't like them and I'm Put the brown there, now I'm getting the white colour, it's dirty, tainted, and I'm simply highlighting those ones just to make these forward trees look a bit more appealing than what I had there. That looked a bit ridiculous before. Now I want to put some white on one, highlight them because they look a bit too grey. There we go. 
How's that looking? Like I said, if you want to grab a script liner, get some distinct trunks backwards and forward from each other. Sitting, sitting in there, just to give it a, some kind of sense of realism. Now I'm just simply on the same fan brush grabbing some black Whatever all that mumble jumble is there, a bit of black. From about here, I want some, I want a tree there, a tree there, let's say one about there and one about there, and then we'll have some mumble jumble in the middle of it. So I want to, we'll start from this one. Let's see if I can make these any better than the other ones. And bring the bottom down and get over our dark base there that we put there previously. And as you come down, you'll feel you're pressure, putting different pressure on your brush. There we go. This white bit here, I want to block up with thick, dense trees there because we don't want to see all that white and get over there again. And this one's pretty much right off the painting there. And he's coming right down, right down, in front of that other one. And then the same with this one. See, they're sort of sitting back from each other now. Now I'm going to dry that so the other colours won't mud up on there. But before I do, I've got a big tree somewhere there and he's sort of coming, yin, 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 yin. He's coming around here and he's coming right off the painting. Oh, you know what I didn't do here? I didn't put a um, bit of dark colour for him. So he's going to sort of be here, right about there in the painting, a real big one. Now I will get a bit of darkness just under there so what I'll do is I'll just wipe that brush with the black on it I'm just going to simply wipe the brush pick up the burnt umber so it's going to be dark burnt umber and I want to get some kind of sense of darkness back here so I don't want it black darkness I want it brown darkness and I want to get some kind of shadow under there like so up there and scooting out into that white. I'll pick up the white because see how this is scratching into the white and it's not quite working. You simply pick up the white and you make it happen like that. There we go. We've got our darker value under that tree. I forgot to do it when I did the other side so make sure you do this when you do the other side as well when you're putting those shadow values in there. Now back to the, the black that we were coming down here with and bring that back over our base. There we go, we want it over the base so it looks like it's sitting on top of its depth. Now I've dried what's up there, I'm grabbing a little bit of burn umber just to taint that white again, just so I can highlight those forward trees with some snow. And pretty much the same way I painted them, I want to get the snows kind of sitting, get the, the snow scratchy, sitting on top of those tree leaves. Now I have painted it, I mean I have dried it, make sure you've dried it otherwise you won't be able to get this to sit on there and we're simply trying to get this snow sitting on our branches there. How's that looking? Okay. Now don't get rid of too much of the dark because we've got to highlight this with pure white and if you got rid of too much of the dark it's just not going to work. Get this right over your base darkness there. Look into it. Get the edges done, the edges. Don't leave the edges solid dark black bits. And we'll try and get these 
Now leaving a lot of the darkness there. Get right to the edge. There we go, that's one tree done. We're gonna put pure white on this, so don't be too particular yet. But you wanna make sure this looks like it's in front of that other one. So he's coming down. Now we're gonna simply just pure white to that. Oh, I wanna get some more in here first. So let's grab some white. I've given it a dry. And we'll get the snow on these. Real pure white now, sitting on top of that stuff, pushing what's here behind backwards. Get it right out to the edge. It's on the, find your branch, sit on top of it, and come to the edge of it like that. Now, I'm no good at painting these trees, but if I can make these look half decent with some practice, you can too. There we go. That's looking a bit better, isn't it? And then the same over here, finding his spots. Pushing the back trees backwards with this coming in front of it. So we're only gonna do this right hand side of the tree coming down in front of the one before it. And where we didn't highlight the other one, it'll just automatically set it back, making your art look quite arty. Now you be sure to comment below. Make sure you check out my join tab down below to become a member of my art, my YouTube channel here. Become a member. Four ninety nine a month. You get badges and emojis, and you get special treatment over other people. But all you other subscribers, nothing has changed. Everything's still the same. All my videos still cost you nothing to watch. Members is if you want to just be someone that supports a creator like myself. I want to get bits on the floor there where it might have dropped off the trees as well. I can probably drag. Bring our snow where we want it. This is just a pure white now. So we want some, I hope it's pure white. Get this, the snow where we want it. Look at that white coming on. In the middle here is going to be bright because we're going to have that cabin there. He's got a light on. So get this quite scratchy. Okay, in the centre of me painting, is that dry yet? I want to just grab a flat brush, picking up just straight black paint. I want to grab a flat brush. Now the one I'm using is quite, it's a tapered edge. And work out where you want your cabin. So I want the bottom of my cabin here. I won't do it a straight there we go, have it a bit crooked following the land. Get the height you want, which is about, I don't know, we'll get the height of it about there, let's say, okay? It's just a simple, simple box, look at that, simple box. Now we're going to give him his, his roof, which will come down there like so. Let's say that's our horizon line. That's where we want all these lines to meet. I've got an imaginary line right there. So what I'm gonna do is bring the ridge capping of the roof, let's say down to there, which will be somewhere there, boom. And then the bottom of the, the cabin, which will be somewhere to there as well, about that far, boom. And then that's the end of my cabin there, bang. So that's how easy it is to get something in perspective. And then this will, come down like so. So now we'll give this a dry and then we'll finish it off. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to grab some titanium white with a flat brush just to chisel in a window. So it would look like the lights are on so we'll pretty much bring this front window let's say about there. 
Now don't worry too much about getting this. Get it, the rectangle reasonably where you want it, all in the white color there, right? So I'm just going to get it reasonably, let's say prime it in with the white, like that we've got a simple rectangle. There we go, that was quite easy. Now wipe all that paint off your brush. Now pick up the Indian yellow. Okay, and we want to dance this into that white. Mainly from this corner. Now if it starts pulling it, ripping it, doing it what it shouldn't do, dry it. So I'm just going to lightly dance this on top of that white. I'm not going to, I'll try brushing it, see what happens. Because I want this to be a pale yellow, but if I just painted pale yellow on the black, it would have looked not right. So we've got that there. Now I want to get some more and just get this corner more brighter, intense. And you can pick up a bit of white if you want, see what I've done? And that'll help you make it more thicker and opaque. There we go. I'm loving that. Wipe the brush, pick up pure yellow again. This is Indian yellow, I don't know if I said it or not. And we've got a nice bright intense bit in there. The lights are on, so someone is home. There we go, simple. Now grab that colour, do that, not too, bit, bit, of, bit of white with it. Try and get the two mixed up like that. And then probably from the window, on the ground, let's say we can get some kind of, vibe of something like this coming away from the, fan and right out into buggery. Go. And we've probably got some more here pulling out here because we're going to have some f bushes in front of this to sit this back to make it look a bit more oh yeah I like that sort of vibe about it you know there we go now we'll finish the cabin off so you picked up the black we're going to pretty much chisel in our window to its actual size now back into the body of the uh, cabin there We'll have the bottom about there. Beautiful. See this this way, doing it back to front like this, you can get a really nice, sharp, detailed, photographic style looking window in your in your cabin. We'll put a couple of panes in it. Let's say one straight down the centre. Just stamp it on. And then probably a couple across. There's a simple window. Now sticking with the theme of the colour, we've got our burnt umber here. We'll grab a little bit of white and mix with some of that. Just so we can make some wood in our cabin. Now this is where you work out. So there's our corner there. Let's say there all the way up to about where our roof line is going to go. There we go. So now, see this bit here that we had overhanging? You start from there. Let's say, you, I'll, I'll, I'll dot it in first so you get the vibe of it. Go a bit closer to the top on this side. Coming down this side like so. Okay, just pause the video here and you can put a bit of paper over your computer screen and trace this, it's that easy. And now we want to just create, let's get this nice and vertical scratchy bits of wood coming down like so there. And then the same on the other side, that's why I'm using this chiselled flat, it's easier for me. Gable here, bang, bang, bang. The rest of the cabin, hang on, I'll get this up from there as well. So there's our gable. And then the sides is gonna have logs on it. So to get that look, I'm just gonna simply come straight across like so. Get some kind of loggy vibe going. Something like that. This is just simple brushing in a real rustic looking cabin. Okay, there's our front. Now I'm going to grab white while that's still wet. Get it on your brush and then just 
come down it all the way down, all the way down. All the way down. Now if you want to, you can do this. I've got some of the darker brown black. Oh, where, where did I go? You can put some kind of trim across the actual wall part. There you go. And then simple rolled log types if you want that style there. Just I don't know, I'm just giving you some ideas. And all the way across there. Oh, sorry, I didn't have the camera on there. From this point to that point, I've just kind of put the light wall colour from in there. Just so as you'll get the perspective of the cabin. There's our roof. And then we're going to have the so-called post there as well, which will be highlighted. Now we want to highlight that with snow. Just grabbing white, you want white resting right on the top of this side of the roof. Pure white, nothing but pure white. Just give it a snow vibe, there we go. Snow on there. And it's going to come down this side of the roof. Right down to that post. There we go, bang. This will set everything back. You can probably have some resting on the windowsill there if you want, and a bit scraggling around there if you want but yeah uh, where else do we want some now we want it on the roof so our roof's full of snow here we go just leave a little bits of black in there if you want just to give it some kind of depth like that bits just scampering on top of there like that and this is where you can use this paint as well to bring across your highlights there. Grabbing the black, should have done that before. Put this post in, right in front of that colour there, bang. Put him in there like that. And if you want, I feel I do, I want to darken some of this because it doesn't look quite right like that. And I'm going to just highlight that post with the light from the window. And just see if I can get some kind of light hitting that post there. There we go. Okay, pretty easy. Now we've just got to sit all that down and hide any mistakes. Grab yourself a dotty brush or a deer foot, if you have a deer foot. Now I want to grab this in the burn umber, but I wanted a bit blackish burn umber again. We're using this colour a lot. Get it on there a bit darker and we just want to make some bushes so work out what you want to hide i want to probably put some i don't know i might just put something right here nice and dotty in front of here just there we go i've hid that bit boom i want something scraggling across the front there maybe a, a bit there that'll do don't overdo it right in front of the window there'll be nice something over here Nice and dotty. Oh yeah, look at that. And then some bits and bobs all here. Nice big one here. Now you don't want them to look like they're floating, so what we will do is we'll sit some of these down just with some blurry bits like so at the bases of them. Just by rubbing it like that solid. There we go. And what about over here somewhere? Maybe, because that looks a bit funny, one, two, three, four. I think we'll put something right here coming off the page. So, look at this deer foot. It makes a beautiful shrubby looking kind of plant. Get some deeper bits within it as well. Pushing it back, don't just do it all the one value. And then we'll get something maybe here. Right, killing all that back, something soft and light. Okay, and a bit of solidness, there we go. 
because I didn't like the way those four were just sitting there. They looked a bit odd. So he's right up there. Maybe something here connected to the ground. Boom. Now we've got to just put snow on top of those. How are you going to put snow on them, Ian? Well, I was just thinking, I've got some cerulean blue here. I'll use the same brush and we'll make a very pale white blue colour. Very pale white blue colour. Oh yeah, that's good. I like the way you've done that. Real easy, Ian. You just, you just, you just done it. Yeah, that's all you got to do. And now we want to just gingerly get the snow on those shrubs, leaving the bit where you connected it to the ground unsnowed, because that's the depth. Bring it around. There we go. This one's right in front of the building there. Hopefully they are looking like snow shrubs with snow all over them he's right in front of the cabin there another bit there here uh, this one's just on that one that'll do and then this one we'll bring in front of that one see how we're bringing it in front Oh yeah, placement, it's all to do with placement, Ian. Yeah, you can call it placement if you want there, little buddy, but yeah, I think you get the gist of it. And this one here, look, we can sort of make him have different bits that are in front of it on the same shrub. There we go. Don't forget this one. So we're grabbing pure white, just pure white that's different to that bluey white. And where you can, let's just see, pop it here and there. Not all, not over it, just over probably 35% of it. Get some more. And hopefully, when I look in my monitor, it's doing the business. Yeah, it's a very neat so snow scene, isn't it? Very neat looking, but you get the idea. Ian, Ian, I'm thinking lamppost, power pole, something near that cabin. Yeah, I get you. I see what you mean, little buddy. Right, let's see. We'll put something maybe, maybe. Where are we? Let's say just something to in the snow. Right up here post there, power box on it, a little round thing, I don't know, and maybe another round thing here, and probably, uh, I don't know, another round thing there maybe. A bit of a string going into there, there's a box there somewhere. Wipe your brush. Grab some of the brown and the white, just dirty, and just kind of sink it into the snow a bit there. I don't know. Drag it, do something. And then we want to just grab the white and just lace some snow on top of this. On maybe a little bit sitting on our wire would that work or not I think it will what do you reckon little buddy yeah it's looking the bees knees in I like the way you got that movement going in your right hand there good movement in oh thank you little buddy there we go we've got ice snow whatever all on top of that I did grab a bit of the yellow and the white. I'm just going to see. And just get some kind of glare on this side of the post from the light. 
might make sense, it might not. And also, where are we? Let's say this shrub here might have some light shining on it. This bit here, I don't know, we'll just see. A bit of, a bit of shining on here. I suppose if you want to, you don't have to, but you can probably make some footprints in the snow as well. Wherever they're coming from, I don't know. Maybe here. Just walk, a, walk around prints where it, someone's might have been walking. I need it a little bit darker there, I suppose. Here we go. Maybe there's some other prints here somewhere. Something under there, I don't know. And that's it. We'll probably put something coming from up the hill there. All these wide steps there. They made a bit of a difference, didn't they? I'll just sign this and we'll whack a frame on it. Now be sure to check out my community tab on my YouTube page here. It's like another Facebook feed. And if you're a member, you really keep an eye on it. And if you're not a member, hit the join button. It costs you four foot ninety-five a month, Australian dollars, and you get a lot of goodies. Different goodies than patrons. Patrons still get their goodies, but the members' goodies is different stuff. So thank you everyone who supports my content. Now let's whack a frame on that and see how she looks. There we go, that's not too shabby. Bit of a cabin snow scene, I hope it's worked. I'm not the best at those kind of trees, but I'm giving it a go, and I know you can do it. Well, I had a lot of fun with that. What do you reckon, little buddy? Yeah, it turned out really good, Ian, I like it. Thank you. Hit the links in the description below, share, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends if you like what I'm doing, but if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on ya.